the automotive industry has experienced so many new things over the past several years. And I think if you talk to a lot of people, they would pick automated driving or they'd pick ADAS or, or you know, driver information systems, all of these very specific things. The single biggest trend that we're seeing is change. It's change in technology, it's new technology, it's how we're using the existing technology, it's adjacent industries and how they're impacting ours. It's change and sometimes it's big and sometimes it's small, but all of it is part of our evolution and all of it is an opportunity for us to leverage our innovative spirit to drive this transformation forward. The biggest trend I'm seeing right now is that owning and driving a battery electric vehicle is cool and hip, and people want to buy them. Electrification is going to drive a massive amount of innovation uh, in the coming decade. So what you see now is everybody, there isn't a single customer that we talk to that are not really committed to having multiple platforms that are going to be a full EV. And something in between, like the hybrid vehicle, is merely a transition point. So everybody's really looking at the, the EV. Many of our customers are dealing with legacy architectures that were not ideally designed for battery electric vehicles. So making that shift towards an all-up battery electric vehicle and really going through step-by-step step and optimizing every aspect of it is gonna be a big win for our customers and ultimately our end customers and really define uh, the next decade beyond the introduction of the new architectures. The biggest single trend what I see near term for 2021 is the electrification so that we bring our innovations around electrification like high voltage cables, power bars, high voltage components into the market. I think of course machine learning itself is a, is a very big trend, but I also see that machine learning is really applied to the edge now in, in very many use cases and that will really enable a new experience of vehicles with new functions but also much much better performance. Some customers claim they're already at the autonomous level four, others are saying that they're basically a two plus but there's no question in my mind that uh, everybody is working toward getting to that uh, level four, level five uh, autonomous driving. What's exciting to me is that the mega trends that we've been talking about now for almost 10 years, safe, green, and connected, they've never been more relevant. Safety with the adoption of more advanced safety systems, saving lives, green with the acceleration of electrification and what that means in terms of delivering those high voltage portfolios and the impact of architecture and the opportunities it creates. And then connectivity, which is now virtually ubiquitous and now moving to 5G in the next years. When you think about those three trends, it just offers tremendous opportunities for innovation. It offers tremendous opportunities for us to deliver more and better solutions to our customers.